Hey guys, it's Gigi, and welcome to my tutorial on some theater mode recording tips on Black Ops 2. So, I'm gonna be showing you guys, like, my settings on when to record from theater mode. You know, there's a lot of COD commentators coming out there and a lot of new channels, so this is an extremely helpful guide for those who want some tips. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoy, and thank you. So now in a recording, the first thing you want to do is go to your options. So now you want to check your theater button layout. If it says default, what you want to do is select it, go to the left, and choose bad bot. Now what this does, it changes the settings back to how it was in Modern Warfare 3, because for some reason, Treyarch decided to change the theater mode here on Black Ops 2 and make it so that um, on default, you have to like hold down the trigger to apply the correct amount of pressure, like a uh, little pressure for slowness and a lot of pressure for fastness. You just don't want to do that. Um, it's kind of tough to just sit there for like... If you had a 7 minute game, bad bot just makes it easier, all you have to do is up the d-pad. And doing this actually leads to my second tip, so uh, let's get into that. So now you want to open up your controls and turn the speed to 1.1, which you can do by pressing up on the d-pad. And now recording with my capture card, which my HDP over at 2, I like to wait until the round seconds go back down to 3. If you're playing a game like Domination, it's the middle of the game, the rounds are about to switch. What you want to do is that you want to change your speed to like 6.0 and wait until the round skips. And then you can uh, turn your settings back to 1.1 and then continue playing. So for uh, those end games, <laughs> what the crap am I doing in this? I'm like laying down. When the recording is about to end, you can bring up your scoreboard so people uh, know your kills and deaths. And so this last step is completely optional and it is to turn off the notifications in case you don't want like anyone messaging you during the video, you know, try to be more professional. I used to have a problem with that, so you can turn it off. So uh, that's it for now and thanks guys for watching. If you have any more suggestions on what, like any more things or ideas you guys want, um, I'll be sure to help you guys out or even make another video if there's a lot of requests.